Hey guys, I have Mia here. Say hi Mia. <laughs> Welcome to another video guys. For today's video, I'm actually filming this a day after. I literally just woke up and took a nice shower because I fell asleep last night. <laughs> but for today's video, I am making my cooked meal of the week. So we're having lentil burgers. I'm gonna make some with my mom. So I'll guide you guys through the recipe. There's no measurements because we didn't even know the measurements. So yesterday I put up a video about my vegan journey, guys. I totally recommend you guys to check out that video. Please check out that video. Then come watch this video. <laughs> but today we're going for the lentils, the cooked meal of the week. So I hope you guys enjoy today's recipe, okay? First things first, I made an egg replacement by using chia seeds, ground chia seeds with some water. It was like two tablespoons to six tablespoons of water and it took about 15 minutes. To make our sauce guys, I'm using a Nutribullet. I'm gonna add some sesame seeds, some lime juice, garlic, serrano pepper, or jalapeno, up to you, some onions. Don't worry guys, I'll write the ingredients on the section below. So I'm gonna keep adding water until I get the desired consistency. I wanted something soft. I also added some parsley and some basil. So I was craving some mushrooms with some balsamic vinegar. So I'll be cooking some green onions, carrots, and some mushrooms in some balsamic vinegar. There's no oil to this recipe, but you can add oil if you want. You can add anything you want. I'm just giving you guys the idea. And then I'm gonna be cooking this for about 10 to 12 minutes until they're completely soaking that balsamic vinegar. Yum, yum. In the meantime, let's make our veggie patty. I have some cooked lentils here that I'm gonna throw in. I'm gonna add some cilantro and some potatoes. Everything's cooked except for the cilantro. To season this, I'm gonna keep it very simple because I have people over, so I don't know if they're gonna like this. So I'm gonna add some cumin and some salt and pepper, simple as that. I'm also gonna be adding the egg replacement we made. I'm gonna add about one and a half of it. I made about two eggs. So thanks to my mom for putting up this together because I mean we could have used a food processor but I forgot mine so we have to do it by hand. While she's making that I'm gonna put some portobello mushrooms in the oven. I only added some parsley, basil and a little bit of avocado oil so they won't stick because we didn't have any wax paper or parchment paper. Okay so the patties are coming along. They're a little bit sticky. You can use some oil or some flour in your hand so they won't stick that much. That's my dad. He's interested in what my mom's doing. <laughs> so you guys can always add whatever you want. We're trying to keep it as simple as possible. Okay so the patties are ready. I'm gonna stick them in the oven for about 25 to 30 minutes. But keep an eye on them because every oven is different. Mine are gonna be cooking at 450 Fahrenheit. Okay, as you saw, I have some portobello mushrooms cooking in the oven. I'm also gonna be cooking some cactus or nopales, and I'm gonna be making them as my buns, because I don't wanna eat some bread. I mean, you can eat bread, I could've just eaten bread, but I was feeling a little bit more creative. <laughs> Once I have my cactus buns ready, I'm gonna stick them into the oven for about 10 to 15 minutes, same temperature. Okay, so the patties are ready. I'm gonna be making some veggie burgers for my mom and my aunt first. We use some vegan mayo and some mustard. I'm gonna add some avocado, tomatoes, some lettuce, the mushrooms we cook, oh look at that. And then the cream we did, ooh perfecto. Okay, so both of my buns are ready, the nopales and the mushrooms. So I'm just gonna let you guys enjoy this without me talking.
I'm here with my mom and my aunt. Mm -hmm. And we're gonna try the burgers. My aunt is also a vegetarian and my mom is a vegetarian as well. Both of the burgers, they have bread. Mine has the portobello mushrooms and the nopales or cactus. Let's give them a try. I'm gonna try the nopal one. Look at this one. Yeah, bro. Mm. I love the nopal. <laughs> so good, man. So good. <laughs> Very good. Very good. The cactus makes everything taste pretty good. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna try the portobello mushroom now. This one. Mm -hmm. I like this one better. Huh? No pan. Yeah. No pan is better. But this one's really good too. The no pan is really good. Okay guys, so I'm gonna keep enjoying dinner with my, my sister, my sister, with my mom and my aunt and I'll see you guys later before I go to bed. I'll talk to you guys later, okay? See you later. My mom helped me with dinner. Love you mom. Adios. Adios. Okay guys, so I'm back again. Of course, I had to film the same part the next day because I fell asleep. <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoyed today's recipe. We had a great time making this recipe, but I ended up staying up late with my mom and then I ended up falling asleep. So if you guys have been following me for the past 100 days, you know that every time I come to Mexico, I tend to go really late to bed. <laughs> but I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If anything else you want to see, any ideas, any tips, any suggestions, anything is welcome, guys. I'm open for everything. Just let me know in the comment section below whatever you want to see, what kind of videos you want to see, what kind of things you want me to talk about. Let me know guys, I'm here for you guys. I love you guys, thank you all again for all the love and support. And Mia, don't forget to say bye. I'll see you guys tomorrow.